just stomp you out Came with all my goons, we gon' thug it out Go hit bust and move, we gon' stomp you out Came with all my goons, we gon' thug it out Throw your hood up, go ahead and rap your city Throw your hood up, go ahead and rap your city The next topic we're gonna discuss on Boxing Bros is one that had the Twitter spear and social media buzzing. We're gonna talk about the scorecards. Um, a lot of people felt like the scorecards were too wide. G, actually I'm not gonna go to G just yet. I'm gonna share um, an article from Yahoo Sports. Bob Aram doesn't want to see a judge again after her Teofimo Lopez scorecard and fans agree. So if you look at Mike Carpenter, he wrote, Ar um, Aram, Lopez won seven to five is the way I scored it. I can see eight to four. That's a possibility. But you can't score it 11 rounds to one and say you watched the fight. Ninth, 10th, and 11th weren't close. I would advise any fighter that I have to ask for, for the commission not to appoint Julie Letterman. And Bud Crawford, he wrote, uh, 119, 109, ooh wee. That was a good fight, but that score was so disrespectful. Um, we have uh, Oscar Garcia Lopez win is for sure fair, but one judge had a 119 to 109. Hmm. And then uh, Bilal uh, Muhammad, 119, 110 is the dumbest judge in the world. <laughs> 119, 109. Trying to see if we have. And so Boxing Kingdom, 119, 109. Boxing needs to fix itself. <laughs> All of my fans. <laughs> uh, Mike Coppinger, Julie Letterman with the 119-109 scorecard. Not sure she should be judging another championship fight. Absolutely outrageous. Loma clearly won 8, 9, 10, and 11. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to turn this one over to G. Right. Did you score the fight? If so, how did you have it? And what were your thoughts on the scores? All right. First thing, I – uh, like Mike, I got um seven to five for Lopez. I got um the first the first five rounds I gave it to Tio, but then the six I gave it to Loma, but then the seventh I gave it to Tio. Then after that I gave eight, nine, ten, and eleven to Loma, but the twelfth round and that was the the deciding factor for me. That's when I gave it to Lopez. If if uh, Lomachenko won the 12th, I would have had it a draw. But because he pulled uh, – T.O. dug deep and pulled it off in the 12th, I was like, he definitely won that fight, in my opinion. So, my – my um, the – I can almost respect two out of three. But there was one, that Julie lady, bruh, you're saying he only won one round? Like, only one round? That's when it's like, now you're getting outrageous, bro. Uh, to me, I was like, come on, son. This is too much. You know what I mean? So, I was kind of – in my mind, I was thinking, yo, they might be really done with Lomachenko. I this I thought it was like a top-ranked fix, to be honest. This is my conspiracy. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm thinking – Here we go, conspiracy. Ready to go. Yo, listen. I think they're just done with Loma. Because I'm like, why is it so – like, because to me, I, I get it. There's certain judges that – that they, they always favor a person that presses the action, right? Which T.O. was doing. But um, to me, like, let me reverse it. Because that's not what they were doing. They should have been doing that. So I'm wondering, like, um, like you know, like, like why is Loma on the round where Loma literally almost killed him? Like, I think it was the eighth or the ninth. I yeah. Like, Literally, I was like, I was getting nervous. Like, oh, come on, T.O., please, please. Yeah, that's when I sent the text. Like, yo, I'm worried Loma might stop him. That's what I'm saying. Like, so, Loma had a good run those couple of rounds. Like, T.O. wasn't the same T.O. as you he was. You mute, true. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, man, I'm getting nervous. Like, I'm literally Still like. on mute, bro. Sorry, Trill was saying something, but. I, no, I was just agreeing with G. Yeah, I was, like, literally getting nervous those couple of rounds. So, I'm like, I don't see how y'all can only give, um, what's his name, Loma, only one round when, like, Loma was putting in work in the second half. Like, so that's why I'm like. 10, 11. I'm telling you. <laughs> Word. Hey, Loma. But listen, Bob was like, all right, <laughs> no rematch clause. 
Get that boy T.O. some more bread. We done with Loma. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I think. I think Julie, I forgot the lady's last name. Julie Letterman. Letterman. Get out of here, yo. She don't need to judge no more fights because that was outrageous. You know what I mean? I don't know what bookie she owe. You know what I'm saying? But that, that's out of order, man. That Somebody need to investigate sis, for real. All right. Oh, actually, Trill Dollar Bill, before you go, I had something else I want to show the people. So, um, actually, uh, I hate the fact that this does this. All right. Um, here's uh, Tony Bellew, and uh, you see this judge looking at his phone, and Tony <laughs> Bellew wrote a uh, speechless, a judge on his phone while two men are putting their careers and lives on the line. I hope this is dealt with accordingly the BBBOC uh, need to deal with this. And so we're talking about uh, Julie Letterman, and that was a fight that took place in the UK. But I just thought, like, you see the connection. Like, there's a judge looking at the phone while guys are fighting. It's just kind of, uh, you know, ask the problem. Oh, yeah. You know what that judge was doing? He's probably texting Julie, like, yeah, I'm about to mess this all up. You gonna be the <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, crazy. He was like, no, he was like, Julie, did, did the cash app clear for you? It just cleared for me. <laughs> I don't know what your thoughts on the uh, score. Um, I had the fight scored the same exact as G um, 115, 113 for Lopez. Um, I gave um, Lopez the first round and I gave Loma the second. And then it was Lopez, 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 Lopez until about the eighth round where um, Lomachenko won the next four. <clears throat> that was the 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. I gave the 12th, and I texted the group. I said, Lopez still going into the 12th. I said, Lopez up by one. And then he went in there in the 12th round, and he he he, he decisively won that 12th round. So I, I had – that's the scorecard that I had. Now, let's explain let's, – let's, let's, let's get back to all the low Machenko fans who were hurt. At the end of the day, the right guy won the fight. I don't care how we got there, but the right guy won the fight. Now, everybody want, everybody want to go there because they got lost and, and got beat up. So now, was, who are we going to blame for they guy getting beat up and losing? Julie's scorecard was way wild. <laughs> That's what we're going to we, We're not going to mention nothing else about, about Loma's performance. <laughs> We're going to mention Julie's card was, was way wild. This is not like something. Rest in peace to her dad, Harold Letterman. This is my guy. And shout out to Julie Letterman. This ain't like something she does all the time. Like, she gets the fights wrong all the time. Oh, get her out of here. Like, come on, man. We all don't make mistakes. And we all see things differently. Like, we was just talking on an episode before about the, oh, we should say for Honduras or American. But... Uh, we all see things differently. Y'all know from watching Julie score cards, she's not for all the posturing and posing and, and running around the rings and you know what I'm saying? And then you not pop the dance moves. She's not for the yeah. dance moves. <laughs> Lowe Matinko was posturing, doing a lot of things. He even squatted. He even did two squats in the round. You know what I'm saying? He dropped down and did two squats. You know what I'm saying? Got back up. He posturing around. That's not what Julie's into. She's like, get all the talking. Let's get the sparking. Throw them hands. That's how, that's how she goes. She's not for all the movement and the running around. I wish she was judging the D Danny um, Thurman fight. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you the truth. This is a good point. This is, this, is, this is what happens, right? When the guy loses, everybody want to go and blame somebody. But you can't blame somebody. Of course, I don't agree with her scorecard. But I know Julie. And I know that she always did. It was times that other guys got it wrong and she got it right. And we praised her then. On Showbox, plenty of times. She was the only one that got it right. This time that people don't agree with us because she likes a certain type of fight. She don't like the pity pack. I seen one round where Loma was going off. She probably looked at it that and was like, nothing. Oh, those little pity pack, get out of the and then running around. Now you're going to run around. Then you're going to come in and try to steal the fight? <laughs> oh, Trey, you about to have to be crazy go to war with us. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> it looked like, yo. war with him. <laughs> it looked like, it looked like, it looked like. <laughs> I'm not, look, you look at the, look at the shots, right? 
<laughs> if this was a crowd, if this was a crowd, everybody would go, ooh, ah, ah. There was no crowd there. There was no, none of those fans was there. Don't, the, the, ah, when he don't land nothing. When he hit those gloves, when he do all those spectacular moves, and then he hits a glove, and the crowd goes round, that was no reaction for that. Yo, just to add, Trill, you right, because I'm not saying he's a pity patter, but when T.O. even hit, uh, like, Loma's glove, you can hear the power. When when the reverse was happening, he didn't really hear that much. So he might have something. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just, and then, I seen him when he hit his body, and I seen Lowe Machenko wince. The guy with no facial expressions, with no guy that has nothing. He When he got hit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, do it again one more time for good measure. <laughs> That's what he did. You know, that, that face is, 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 you know, is so similar to uh, Nagayu when Ryan Garcia was – Give him a body shot. Yeah, that's, and that's that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> you know what I mean? But everybody won't go down on, on, on Julie. She just seen the fight differently. Yo, she I ain't gonna fight. It was one time. Yo, Teal hit him with, it was like a right to the stomach. Yo, I swear, I'm not even joking. It looked like uh, uh, um, Lomachenko did a moonwalk for him. I was like, oh, he was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? So, he was jumping up in the air when the female like, was up. He was, oh, yeah, he was jumping the up in the air when he was getting punched. <laughs> he was jumping up in the air when he was getting punched in the body. <laughs> Look, I don't want to just make this a blame game now because y'all got lost. I voted for Loma too. But the fight is what it is. It's 115, 113, the right guy win. No, I don't care how we got it, but the right okay. guy win. I'm rocking with you. Forget you know it, yo. I get it. Julie, Julie y'all. You know what I'm saying? You seen what I didn't see at first. Yeah. I, almost, I try to ignore the moonwalk. I try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. because, hmm. look, we could, it's, we could, we're like, we gave Loma, Loma Chico so much credit. There's no way he could have got washed like that. And when Tefimo Lopez's dad was yelling out, blowout, it's a blowout. <laughs> it was. It was a blowout at that point. You know what that I'm saying? That changed the fight, though. Yeah. That changed the fight, that though. Did, that definitely he changed the fight. his mouth. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was the fact of the matter, too, another thing is, is how a person is viewing the fight. Like, uh, uh, I know there was people that was thinking that Corey Spinks beat Jermaine Taylor. But they was like, oh, no. Even Corey thought he did. But they was like, you're not going to steal this fight. You can't steal the fight. Yes. And I'm glad they didn't do this. They didn't rob this kid. You have to go out there and fight. You have to go out there and fight. I don't agree with Julie's scorecard at all. But this is not like she should be banned from boxing because this is, oh, she just makes horrible mistakes. Listen, I'm not perfect either. If it wasn't for the grace and the, the goodness of people realizing that, uh, people make mistakes and they can change their lives and, and, and do that. I wouldn't be here with you great gentlemen right now. Talking box. But people make mistakes and people can change. This was, I don't think that this was something malicious. Watch the fight back. Take the fanboy out and see if you, see how you, uh, a person that goes for the aggressor will, 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 uh, will score that fight. Because if you put your mind, if I put my mind in the, in the Julie's mind, or I was going just straight for the aggressor, I would have said, all right, the swing rounds that I gave Lil Machenko for, maybe because he threw one clean left effective shot that I gave him the round for, because I said, look, he threw one clean shot that went through, and that was the best punch of the fight, right? But I'm not talking about the times he was running around laughing, getting hit to the body with jabs. Maybe we didn't count those. We don't know. But I just don't think that we should just just throw her out and say, oh, she's bad. Because Julie, she has she has uh, judged a lot of good cards and did a lot of good job. So I'm not going to scold off of uh, uh, something I just disagree with. I, dis I totally disagree with her. But I'm not just going to throw her out. And I see you, Julie. I see you, Julie, over there looking like Sandra Bullock in the blind side. I see you. That. <laughs> Julie, get <laughs> right. Sometimes in sports you have these controversial calls where you know the refs, the umpires just don't get it right, or the judges they don't get it right, and everybody goes crazy. I remember there was an NFL game, I think it was Lions and Green Bay or something like that, where the coin toss for overtime it was heads and tails. Every every both sides, everybody saw it was heads. The ref looked at it. Yeah. 
thought it was heads. He, he saw heads, but he said tails. And then everybody went crazy. Everybody went crazy. And, you know, I don't know where this ref's at now in this daytime. But that, this, what Julie did is not that. And I don't think people should be blown it out of proportion. I agree with some of Trill's points where, you know, she, she maybe saw the fight different. Maybe she was judging different. Um, she came in it. She she judges it off of aggression, but one oh nine, one on one nineteen and one oh nine. It is a little ex, like you, if you. I don't know what fight she was watching. She think Loma only won one round. That that's kind of that's crazy. But that's it's like I, I wouldn't. I, it's, it's only one one judge's scorecard, and she didn't. Um, she didn't. At least it didn't. If the fighter who was supposed to win the fight won the fight, it was for the fighter who won the fight, and we all know Tio won that fight in uh, uh, in wealth in an extremely great fashion, you know. So I'm not mad at it, but I I could see some people some people who really like take judging seriously, like hey, this ain't right, this ain't right. Like the when um Tony Bell you um pointed out the guy on the phone, like that's a problem. You like judge judge the fight, like you're you're not. Yeah, you could you could cheat somebody out of win because of your um uh your negligence. Thank you, thank you. That's the way I was looking for. And that the that um maybe I don't know know much about Julie. It says she looked like Sandra Bullock in the blind side. Shout out to Trail. No, bro. <laughs> okay. I can't. I was like, I don't know what y'all talking. I was making a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what y'all talking. I was like, you know nothing. That's what it sounds. Like. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wouldn't. I'm not. I'm not too upset at that. But you know, if it was a, if it, if the fight was very close and we had a scorecard like that, then I'd be pretty upset. But the fighter needed to win one. So. All right. So. For point of reference. I'm going to go in, and I let everybody say what they had to say. So I would like the same respect. All right, so check this out. We all watched the fight, and we didn't watch it together. I didn't watch it with Trill. I didn't watch it with G. But we all arrived with the same scorecard. I scored it 115-113. G scored it 115-113, and Trill scored it 115-113. I didn't discuss the scores with Trill before we got – uh, on the show, but I scored it the same exact way as Trill. I gave Loma the second round. I gave him the eighth round. I gave him the ninth round. I gave him the tenth round. I gave him the eleventh round. I gave Teofimo Lopez every other round. So I had it seven to five. Going into the twelfth round, in my opinion, the fight was on the line. So I'm believing this twelfth round matters. For me, I do have an issue with Julie Letterman's scorecard uh, because it hurts boxing it hurts Lomachenko and it hurts Teofimo Lopez and here's why it hurts boxing because we finally had a fight for undisputed four belts on the line although the WBC what's happening with Devin Haney how this became undisputed I really don't know but that's how it was promoted right the fight for undisputed Lomachenko decides to take on the young bull he has the courage we all talked this fight up about how it was great to see two of the best step in the ring but to me, it hurts boxing when a scorecard is that wide because all the other fighters watching that fight are going to think, wow, the fix was in. The fix was in. It doesn't matter what Vasily Lomachenko did, he could never win that fight. It's going to prevent other fighters from wanting to step in the ring. I get it. Boxing is subjective. Maybe this judge likes the aggressor, but you like the aggressor so much, you couldn't even give Lomachenko two rounds? Come on, sis. Like, you like the aggressor so much. The only way someone can win the fight is if they don't take one step backwards. To me, that's ridiculous. And here in this panel, we got three people who didn't watch the fight together but arrived at the same score. Julie Letterman, a professional judge, only saw one round she can give to Lomachenko. And that 11th round wasn't even Lomachenko's best round in the fight. The round where he almost stopped. Teofimo, well, not almost stopped. There's no, but it looked like he was about to stop Teofimo Lopez. She didn't even give that round to him. So if you favor aggression, you can't tell me Lomachenko wasn't the most aggressive fighter in the ring in that round, and he didn't even get it, right? So, so to me, a score that wide hurts boxing because other fighters are not going to be willing to put everything they work for on the line. You know, Vasily Lomachenko walked in that ring with three belts, and he walked out with none. 
He put his three belts on the line for what? For that scorecard? You think that's going to entice other fighters to do it? I don't think so. I think it's a black eye on boxing. I think it hurts Vasily Lomachenko because Vasily Lomachenko mounted a comeback in my eyes. He was getting outclassed. He was getting beat down until uh, Teofimo's dad started running his mouth. It's a blowout. It's a blowout. And that's when Vasily Lomachenko was like, I'm about to blow his ass out right now. And that's when Vasily Lomachenko started stepping to him and made it an interesting fight. Took, took, in my opinion, four rounds in a row and was on his way to a draw until Lopez won the 12th round. So that's why it hurts Lopez, because it doesn't show the heart that he showed. Like, it's okay. He lost three belts. Cool. But this man mounted a comeback. You got to give it to him. And that scorecard doesn't give him credit for nothing. That scorecard makes it look like he got washed. I didn't see him get washed. Trill scorecard didn't see him get washed. She scorecard didn't see him get washed. So that's that's one thing. The other thing is Teofimo Lopez. It hurts Teo because Teo went out there, took the first half of the fight. Vasily Lomachenko, the veteran, the experienced fighter, the number one pound for pound, mounted a comeback where most fighters fold. Nicholas Walters quit. Rigandale quit. Teofimo Lopez bit on his gum shield and fought back and took that 12th round. Won the fight in the 12th round. You take away from T.O.'s comeback. Yo, T.O. won that fight in the 12th round. I don't care what no one say. He showed heart. He showed grit. When the fight was on the line, he beat Lomachenko to the punch. He beat the brakes off Lomachenko when the fight mattered. But Julie's scorecard makes it seem like it, it was just a foregone conclusion. Wasn't on my card. Wasn't on G's card. Wasn't on Trill's card. So for me, I do have an issue with what Julie did. But where I agree with Trill, so I do have an issue with it, but where I agree with Trill is I'm not calling for her job. There's been times where she had the only right scorecard, right? She's had the only right scorecard. Um, and so I think the public outcry to me is valid based on the way she scored the fight. But to say she shouldn't score another fight, I do think she should have to sit down and explain her scorecard. I do think there should be uh, some type of investigation, only because when you have a scorecard that is that wide, I think I think you should always have to explain it, even if it was obvious. Even if everyone in America thought it was a wash, for fairness, you should have to explain it. It should be like, even even if you're looking at freaking, um, what was it? Uh, Luis Ortiz versus Malik Scott. <laughs> you should still have to sit down. I was like, well, uh, I think Luis Ortiz is landing the clean punches. That was a power shot. You see Malik's wobbly. You see Malik. Abel. You should have to explain why you scored the card that way in the interest of fairness. Now, Trill also brought up a point that I think a lot of people are going to get at. Nepotism. Like Trill likes to do the word of the day. My word of the day is nepotism. Everybody knows her dad is the great Harold Letterman, Hall of Famer Harold Letterman, used to score uh, fights on HBO, all the big fights. So, Harold, what's your scorecard say? And he gets his daughter a job. It's nepotism, favoritism for those in power to get their relatives a job, right? And so now Julie Letterman has this job. And I never once felt like Julie didn't deserve her job, ever. This is the worst scorecard that I've seen Julie Letterman turn in. So rather than like pound her, like she's the first judge to ever turn in, in a bad scorecard, I'd rather her explain the scorecard. But I understand if fighters never want Julie <laughs> to, I can understand that. But for me, I do have a problem with her scorecard. Only yeah, because it was really so good. wide. And in, 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 like, none of us saw the fight that way. If one of us came in, all three of us, we didn't even score together. So I just need to know how she arrived at that scorecard. I'm not calling for a job. The right guy won. She had the right guy winning. Nobody was robbed. Like, there's no recourse. There's, no, there's nothing to redress here. Like, no damage was done. Exactly. So like, I'm not trying to get her fired. But I would like to know why she thought this fight was so wide. And maybe once I see the fight through her lens, I could say, although I disagree. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. I totally agree with everything that you said. The whole thing that I was getting, I was getting mad at 
people calling for this young lady's job. 25 years in the business, 25 years doing this, judging fights, right? And sometimes I agree with her score and, and not agree with her father's score. They've been sometimes when they was on yeah. the same thing. And I'm like, Harold, how'd you get that? And I agree with Julie more than I agree with Harold. To me, she probably, she dropped the ball on this fight. I'm not even going to say maybe she dropped the ball. Maybe she's seen it differently. She's seen this fight differently. There's some people, they just see the fight differently. You know what I'm saying? I just don't think that we should be sitting here and calling for a job. Everybody is going out the window. I didn't see nobody jumping out the window when Canelo got that split decision with Mayweather. Calm down. Okay? Calm down. That's and I agree. I don't think she should lose her job, but I do think in the interest of fairness, when you score a fight that wide, I don't care who the two fighters are. I don't care if it's obvious who won the fight. You should always have to explain why you scored the fight that wide. Just in the interest of fairness, because there is that impression. Like, and this is what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the fighters who watch two men put it all on the line. That's why it's called winner takes all, right? And Vasily Lomachenko came in with three belts, and he lost on a scorecard 119-109, where I feel, G feels, you feel, Trill, that – he won five rounds. So it's difficult to like explain that and to say to other fighters, oh, but this won't happen to you. And also, Katie, you made an excellent point uh, about the fact that that scorecard takes away from TL's victory because I guarantee you, they, YouTube going to be blowing up just focusing on the judge, not on Loma's performance. So then people going to okay. be like, yo, run it back because... It was He's a whole about the judge. No, and that's, exactly. and that's what I was saying. You know what I mean? But, but that's the reality, though, because people are going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, and that's where the people, that's, and that's the one I gave. That's the first thing I said. That's the one thing that I hated is because of that scorecard. That's what people was going to run to, not the ass, not the butt whooping. <laughs> Yeah, now nah, you're right, yeah. Not exactly. the punishment, because you ain't never seen uh, Lomachenko black and blue like that before. Mm -hmm. In the face, body all red over here. You ain't never seen that before. You dig what I'm saying? So that's what you're going to run to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's what she did. She gave people an out. And mm -hmm. that's what I was saying. Exactly. She gave people an out with that scorecard. So I totally agree across the board. You're right. We, we're going to get to the same place, but we arrived there differently. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gentlemen got anything more to add? Uh, no, sir. <laughs> Let us know how you feel in the comments. Oh, oh, did Ned even give a scorecard? Yeah, uh, I didn't score. I didn't like oh, no, Ned scorecard, didn't but score I judge it. I judge it. I gave uh, <laughs> I judged the first eye test. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, I think he won. <laughs> no, I he gave like the first seven <laughs> rounds. <laughs> He said, I gave yeah. seven? Yeah, one through seven to um, CO, like eight, nine, 11. And I thought 12 was like, like. Right, don't worry about it. 12 was yeah. like to me, obvious who won 12, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I told you, no, hold on. Ned, right just now. tell him the truth, Ned. Come on, yeah. man. Tell him the truth. What's you don't up? You fights. You use I the eye test. I use the, the eye test. Fight, you say, I think he won. That's all. <laughs> 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 I like that one. Thank you, thank I just you. Came up with some off the top. Yeah, I, I gave him the first. Seven. Nah, I gave, I gave. <laughs> he just ran out because he said that's all. No, he no, 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 no. Because I, when I, when I was giving my reaction, I thought because Tio was like looked aggressive, but it wasn't fancy. It wasn't like nothing. Be like, oh, uh, he's whooping Loma, but it was it was it was just Loma. <laughs> Yo, man, yo, in the, in the, in the segment, right? Hi, yo, for real. Yo, we got in the segment, but I got one question for you. This is a yes or no question. And then let Trill end it, because this segment's going on for too long. Are you sure you bootlegged the right fight? In the segment, Trill. <laughs> let us know how you feel in the conversation. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter, and also check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros. Brooklyn. Adorous. <laughs> Catch me creeping down the dark street. This is where it means the zombies meet. Guarantee we all gonna eat. A zombie red again with HD. I'm a zombie in the night, you better run from me. Zombie red in the house, you better run, homie. Brought a mask and some gloves with some thugs with me. I came to do damage, you wanna purge with me. Super Saiyan zombie, I'll be